two ways to check a throttle position sensor. This is a three wire potentiometer style position sensor. Um, we're going to start with the top pin. Get the key on engine off. The top pin is a reading 25 millivolts and that um, that is volts DC. I have the negative lead on a jumper wire connected to the negative terminal on the battery. And uh, just to test to make sure we got a good ground on that battery, we just check it to the positive. Now with it unplugged on the top wire, it's reading 25 millivolts. We'll go to the next one down. Now on the second wire, the middle wire, it's reading 50.5 millivolts. And on the bottom wire, it is reading 5.06 volts. That lets me know that's my 5 volt reference. Go ahead, plug it in. Move back to the middle wire. And now it's reading a little less than a volt. That lets me know that's my signal wire. And that also lets me know that my top is my ground. And that my wire and integrity is good. It also lets me know so far that my sensor is good. You want to read about a volt, uh, 1.2 volts, 0.9 volts. And now this sensor, actually whenever you uh, move this throttle cable, and if you got a drive-by wire, you'll have to have an assistant press the gas pedal, but where this has a throttle cable, I can actually move the throttle right here. So you want to slowly rotate that throttle over and make sure your voltage doesn't bottom out. It doesn't have a great increase to it. And you'll just keep doing this until you're either satisfied or you'll see a problem with that throttle uh, position switch. And you want to go real slow with this. You don't want to be in a hurry. Um, you can miss dropouts on your voltage. It's actually better to check it with a scope. But if all you have is a meter, that will work fine too. You just want to gradually increase this. And then it will top out at about 4.5 to 5 volts. And do the same thing when you let back off of it. Most of the time, if you have a problem with that throttle position switch, it will actually be right when it's rested. Right when you're reading the, what I'm reading is 0.9, but you can be reading 1.2 with it rested. And it's usually right whenever you first move that throttle switch. So you want to just barely move it forward and just be real easy about moving it. If you get any voltage drop or it jumps to like three volts, change the throttle position switch. But you'll just keep doing that. And I also have a Bluetooth OBD reader. I bought it for $20 at CVS, and I use an app off the Google Play Store called Car Scanner. It's a free app. You want to go in, find your make and model, and then go to the relative throttle. And pretty well do the same test, just ease it open. you can see it's in a percentage on this of how much the throttle's actually open. You can move it to a spot and hold it there. If you're jumping around, if you're like 7% and you're jumping down to 3 up to 11, 12, that throttle position switch has got war on the inside of it. It needs to be changed. 
they will get worn. And when they get worn, they become inaccurate. But you can open this all the way up, and I'm going to show you now. Most of the time, the high stick will go at 75%. It's not going to go to 100%. There's wide open throttle, and I'm just easing off on it. And that's the two ways to check a throttle position switch. Showed how to check wire integrity.